Right, is it Dominic from Paphos Life? Just doing an experiment. Oh, wishing I'd worn a better belt. We can't fly drones around uh, St. Nicholas Chapel at the Oscarpoo Beach end of the uh, hotel strip. So I'm using a camera on a long stick instead. So feel free to add suitable drone buzzing noises. So everything that could go wrong today has gone wrong. First of all, it started raining on the way down for this test. And we got here. There was a fun run finishing. So I'm just pulling my trousers up just next to us. And, uh, they had music blaring out, which would have ruined the sound. But fortunately, they seem to have finished their fun run now. So yes, this is definitely just a test to see if it works. I may publish the film anyway, because people do like the chapel. This is a good way of seeing it as if I was a drone. Obviously won't take it inside. They'll be clumping. People will think I'm doing a protest or something because it looks like I'm holding up a big sign. Right, let's go down this way for a bit. Avoid getting run over. What are you doing? Oh, he's reversing. Fair enough. So we'll go this way. See what's happening. I've done this in the past with a 360, but never with a really long pole. And I don't think I could keep it up all the way to the seafront this way. But it'll be interesting to see what it looks like. Because it's a lot more strenuous on the arms. That... <laughs> Mind you, it'd be a good exercise, I guess. So I guess imagine a drone flying through here. If I had an FPV drone, I could do that. Drone lover. And I'll definitely try and come down and do this again when the weather gets nicer. Hopefully it won't be too long. making a film slightly more comfort comfortable circumstances uh, yes it's definitely hurts the arms after a short while I need to find one of those straps that uh, you see flag bearers carrying on marches Coming up to the Asimina Suites Hotel. Pardon? <laughs> That's a 360 camera. And I can't fly drones around here. 
right. because of this proximity to the airport. Okay. So I figured if I use this instead on a big pole, it would look a bit like a drone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's bloody uncomfortable though. <laughs> There's a nice little wedding venue on our right. Ooh. Right, I'll go all the way up to this bit here and stop there, I think. I think it's the Ivy Mare. And before the Ivy Mare, we have the Aquamare. Be interesting to see how this comes out anyway. And I guess if I did it often enough, my arms would get more used to it. Oh, there. There's a moggy stalking something over there. Here's the Ivy Mare with its remarkably big sunbed cushions. I think there's one brave swimmer. Oh! <laughs> the selfie stick is slightly collapsed there. We'll stop up by these scooters. Oh well. It's just an experiment, see what it's like. Let's hope it turned out relatively okay. My arms are now dead though. And I'm continuing my experiment with uh, the selfie stick and uh, the 360 camera. Walking from the Ivy Mare to St. Nicholas Chapel. I'm getting very sore arms in the process. Good way of getting some very odd looks as well. Just in case you need it a good way. Weather-wise, bit shit. Very grey. Not so dusty as it has been. I think that's on its way out, that dust storm that we had from Sahara. So that's one good bit of news. But it's not a uh, nice sunny day you'd expect from Cyprus. We do get grey days occasionally though, so there's a little cat there stalking something. So this is the Aquamare.
I will put links up to all the various hotels here. I've always liked the Aquamares grounds though. Very green. There's a little beach on the right. And after the Aquamare we'll come to so I can pronounce it right, I think it's called the Asimina Suites. There's a lifeguard station here. Oh. Right, you can't cycle or have a motorbike here, according to that sign. I'm looking out though, because someone was asking about dogs on leads, and I know on the Cloaca Coast Path, you allow dogs on leads, provided you clear up your poop and the dogs. Ha ha ha. But uh, I'm not sure about this part. This part just says no cycling or motorbike riding. Mind you, you get quite a few push bikes up here anyway. Naughty people ignoring the signs, and here's that nice little wedding venue I showed you on the way up. I think I found a better way of carrying this now, though. This is certainly less tortuous on my arms, which is why I practice it, I suppose. Get technique right. That's a mean of sweets, yeah, that's the one. Right, and in the distance now, you can see St. Nicholas Chapel. And somewhere out there is my wife. There's a nice little beach up here. And I like these uh, concrete tree supports they get, they've got as well. When the weather's good, you can get very nice pictures, including them. However, today it would just be grey and miserable, so I'm not going to bother. And we'll get to St Nicholas Chapel, and then we'll walk around it, and we'll pretend to be a drone. Because I can't fly the drone up this end, because of its proximity to the airport. Which is a shame. I mean, I can apply for a special license, but that requires all the usual insurances and etc. And the, uh, the cost gets higher and higher. One company wanted over a thousand euros for a year's insurance, which is just ridiculous. Especially as the vast majority of the time, the drone I fly is over seawater. So even if it did have a fall from the sky, the worse it would stun a fish. But I don't need anything for this. So we can fly around to our heart's content. Here comes St Nicholas Chapel, from the top of my head it was built around 2012, though I could be wrong, I'll tell you for sure in a minute. And because I'm on a nice long pole, I'll be able to fly around it. Yeah, building started on the 2012, it finished on the 2013. I might see if I can get it inside this time. Lower the length of it. So you can have a brief look at what it's like in there. That'll be 
a separate take anyway. We need to be a double the length of this to get the roof in. I suppose it could go out a bit further. Is there anyone in there at the moment? I don't think there is. While I'm here, I'll give a, a circuit of the church from a bit of further distance so you can get a better view. But that plane coming in shows why we can't fly drones here. There's another cat over here. Was he having a drink? Need to supply suitable drone flying music, whatever that may be. All I can think of at the moment is the thing from the Indian line, first time around. I say that because I have no idea what theme they use for the remake. I suppose I could also walk into a little archaeological area. And I will return and do this again when the sun's shining. To carry on down this path, you'll soon arrive at Yoskapu Beach, which is one of my favourite places. It's a bit too early in the year still for me to be swimming. I'm sure other people are already. I don't know if this has been excavated recently, but I know that they did work here a few years ago. And there was talk about a hotel being built here. And I'm not sure what the latest is. In terms of archaeological sites, uh, I'm sure most of the treasures are still buried deep beneath the ground. And when I say treasures, I mean historical artefacts as opposed to little pots of gold. We get excited. And incidentally, 
if you do come here on holiday, probably the worst thing you can try and bring is something like a metal detector. Because if they catch you with one of them, it will not go down well. There's a huge pile of seaweed here as well. I'm going to walk through here and on the other side of that and then we'll call it a day. Oh, a few spring flowers still out. Someone was asking, I saw a post where the best place to see spring flowers is at the moment. The answer to that is just go out into the countryside, they're everywhere. Coming to the end of the season but there's still plenty around before the hot summer sun dries them all off. If I was a betting man, I'd say I had a wife lurking on the other side of this seaweed patch looking for interesting shells. Doo -doo -doo. Grey that. Oh, what's that? Oh, there's my phone falling out. Oh. Glad that made a nice solid clunk. For a horrific minute, I thought the camera had fallen off. I must go down to the sea again, to the lonely sea in the sky. I left my shorts and trousers there. I wonder if they're dry. I think that was Spike Milligan, who perverted somebody else's poem. I'm walking and I was wrong. There's no wa wife. Which begs the question, where has she gone? But I'm going to be finishing, interesting bit of driftwood there. Up here, I think. With a nice, if somewhat grey view of the area around St. Nicholas Chapel. And next time I film this, it'll be a nice blue sky. And until then, I'll say goodbye. Cheers.